What's going on everybody? Zach Shrimp Room here. Today's video, lots of shrimplets. I have so many shrimplets. You know, last week I was saying that we had a lot of buried females that are about to <clears throat> have their eggs start hatching. Well, it's been happening. So let's see if we can get some uh, views of these shrimplets. I also bought a macro lens for my phone so we can look at these little guys super close. Let's get to it. So this here is the mixed tank. There are way more babies in here than what I th probably think there are. There's crystal reds. Let's zoom around. I don't know what that guy is mixed with. It almost looks like a shadow panda. We come over here. And some more crystal reds. Anywhere around here. Not looking like it. There's another crystal red. There's a ton up in the moss. Doesn't look like shadow pandas. But yeah, there are a ton of shrimp in this tank. And it's a 40 breeder, so they'll be able to grow pretty fast, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's a lot of shrimp. I'm actually going to put more shrimp into this tank today that I'm going to be culling. We have some shadow panda shrimplets as well we got quite a bit of them in here in this tank where's that guy at i saw him on the glass there he is he that guy doesn't have a lot of uh black on him where'd he go bad vi videography yes i know this guy here he looks awesome he looks awesome. He's got not a lot of blue, but a lot of black. But this this tank is littered with shrimplets. And the other, well, we also have these <clears throat> Red King Kongs. There's two buried females in here. There's only six total shrimp in this tank. And it just happened that I got two females that are buried up. Two females, no, three males, three females, and two of the females are buried up. Uh, this is my main shadow panda tank. There's no babies up front to see. Mm, there's a little guy there. But these guys are still pretty small. Another guy there. Now I will say I am disappointed <clears throat> at this 40 breeder that I set up last week. The water is still not buffered. It's close. It's close, but not buffered enough to where I want to start testing shrimp in there. Because eventually I want to put my fancy tiger coals in there because I have way too many cold red fancy tigers. I want to get in there. They're almost at breeding age. It just needs to hurry up. I'm guessing another half a week, week, and I'll start just dumping shrimp in there. But let's take a look at these red fancy tigers and show what my what my thoughts from on for them are all right so we're using that macro lens what my idea for these red fancy tigers is this this big female at the top or right in center like she would stay um in the tank and then you got some of these other ones that are they don't have a really thick shell they're kind of uh see-through so i'd get rid of those you got these supposedly red fancy tigers. They're red tie tie bees. They need to go like that guy there. He'll get thrown in that coal tank. If the shell isn't thick or if there's a lot of white on them and no lines, like that one might stay in the center. The more red, the better. A lot of white is going to get thrown in that big tank. Um, like this girl here, she'll probably get thrown because her shell is kind of see-through. And then over in this other red fancy tiger tank, um, there's shrimp that need to go. There's another super dark red shrimp. There's some more see-through looking guys that are up there that I can't see with this lens. But yeah, these are gonna get cold. These uh, zebra pintos, 
I'm going to go in a different direction with them. I have a lot in this tank. I'm going to uh, put a couple in the coal pile today. Like this girl right here. She's nice. She's got a thick shell. She's got a back or a, a headline. The fishbone pattern on the back could be a little better. I'll keep her in there. And, but we also got some shrimp that have a lot of head spots. So I want to kind of, I want to go for the snowflake pattern. So if they don't have a headline um, or the fish bone design on the back is not there, kind of like this one here, I'm going to throw them in the coal tank. Uh, that male there I'll keep. He's dark. He's got spider legs. Back isn't great, but I want to go for that color and match these bodies or those, those head spots. And I'll probably end up taking half this tank out and putting them in the, in the big tank. This one there has a thick back line, which I like. But yeah, these are going to get cold as well. Well, that's pretty much everything that's been happening and will happen in the very near future um, in the in the shrimp room. When I end up putting when I do end up putting shrimp in that 40 breeder, like actually putting in shrimp, not just putting a one or two in for, as testers. Uh, I'll make a video on that because it's going to be crazy how many shrimp I actually put in there over time. Uh, I won't put all the shrimp in there at one time. I'll maybe do like. 10 a day, uh, don't want to stress them all out or anything can happen, something can happen and they'll all die. So yeah, if you guys like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time, thanks.